I went to my goy to work. And the goy had to pay not for me, but to the government. So you had no money? No. He had to pay not me. To the government he paid. Do you remember his name and his wife's name? Certainly. He what was, are what their names? Yamalovich. His first his name, name was Ignacy, and her name was Sonia. So yes. you went back to work for them. They invited you to work for them? Or? Yes, they asked me to work, but they have to pay to the government, not for me. I had only the food they gave me to eat, that's all. Were they nice to you? Very nice, very nice. They were very nice. I remember once he came, the, the man, Yamalovich, he went to pay them. And he told me what he told me, I'll tell you that he says what they asked me. Do you, do you think that your girl is preparing to run out from the ghetto? Then if, if you know something, you must come and tell us. So he is laughing, he says, Chile, I'll, I'll myself tell you. Then if I hear something, I'll tell you myself to run away. I'll go, he says, I'll go to tell him. I'll tell you to run out. I won't tell them. So I went through the fields and I lost my way. When it's coming light already, I, I see I'm on the other side of the town. I lost all the weather the way. So I lied in the fields. I was lying all day in the field. It was Monday, we ran out Sunday morning. It was Monday, so Monday I was lying. When, excuse, when you ran, did you run by yourself or with myself. your father? No, my, no, so my father So you never saw walk. your father my again? My father couldn't walk. He told me, you go away. So you Here said goodbye to your killed. father and then you went? Yes. Then I was lying until Wednesday night. Wednesday night I went, like I knew the roads, I, I, I walked around Mir, and I came to Yermolovich. What did you eat in those three I days? I didn't eat nothing. From Sunday until Thursday, I never had food. And he told me, run to my field. I hear that the Goye, Sonia, is calling me, because I told him that I never eat for three, four days already. And I hear she's calling me, Tzila, Tzila. But I was scared to answer her. I thought to myself, in the night I ran away. I've been scared for them. I never answered her. And he, him, they chased to the, dig the grave, you see. He was busy when he came home. She told him that she don't know if somebody caught me, or t she don't know if I'm alive. So he said, I'll go see in the field. So he went to the field and he looked in his field and he noticed a place and he came exactly to me. I had a shock. I started crying. He says, don't cry, I won't kill you. And he kept a jar of water. I was drinking like a wild horse. He tied, take out from my mouth. I said, you mustn't drink like this. And he gave me some bread to eat. It was from Sunday, I never ate. I couldn't chew. My gums been dead. I couldn't chew the bread. He says, he started crying. I says, I'm going to say Sonia, she'll, she'll, she'll bake a latchkes, latkelach. Mm, pancakes. And he went away. And then, then he came home and he told her to buy the latkes. And he told her more or less where I am in the field. So she find me. It was already afternoon. And she bring me the latkelach. When it came dark already, I wait until we we'll get the good duck. I can't run when it's still light. He came and he took me out from the field. I said, where will you take me? He says, I'll take you to my house and I'll give you everything, but you must have food. 
and clothes Sonia will give you and then you'll go away to the forest. And he brought me to the house. It was dangerous, isn't it? I ran out from the ghetto in a white skirt. It was grey already <laughs> in the mud. So she gave me a color like this a skirt and she gave me a, a blouse with long sleeves, a warm but it's coming the winter, I said you need the blouse. And then she gave me some food. And he took me out from the house slowly, took me to the fields. I told him that I know where to walk. Until the end of the field he took me. It was dangerous for them. And they opened me the door, it was the middle of the night. They opened the door for me. And we've been sitting all night and been talking. We've been talking and she says the town is sh shocking, the town shocking. They also been scared. And then, shall I go away? He says, no. They took me to the stable. It's coming the daytime already. So it's dark, they took me to the stable. And I've been lying in the stable the whole day. She brought me food, and then in the night, I put on her boots, I gave her my boots, and I put on her boots, and he also again she gave me some food, and he took me again in the fields. I ran away to my Sonia, to her I to ran. To your old friend? To the old friend. I ran there, I came there, oh, and they took me in, I've been sitting, and I was mixed up altogether. I was ti not tired. I got mixed up. Look here, everybody killed. I was crying, and and then she says that your neighbor, this neighbor, Paul, a boy, saw you running, but he never caught you. We must make a party for him. I said, Sonia, I haven't got money. I haven't got nothing. She says, I'll make a party for him. And she made a party, she called him in, and he kissed me, he says, I says to him, lucky you didn't caught me. I says, oh my God, I'll kiss you and I'll give you to the Germans. I wouldn't do it, never, never.